Hello buddy, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm showing you how to get and use hanging signs in Minecraft 1.20 for both Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you like Minecraft videos just like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials in the future. And so currently we're only in the snapshot phase of 1.20 so if you want to get these items right now you need to go to the snapshots and get the data pack. If you don't know how to do that, I've made a video on how to do that. Link to it will be in the top right of your screen. However, if you're playing in 1.20 and these items are already available, then I'll show you how to get them in survival and how to use them as well. And so as you can see right here, there are many different ways to use these hanging signs. There's different rotations, different block models, and also lots of other customization possible. But before we go into all of that, let's see how you can actually get these items. And so what you will need to do is get an axe and go over to your nearest tree because you'll need some stripped wood for these hanging signs. So what you need to do is just right click the logs or whatever button that is for your console and then strip the logs like this and then you can mine them afterwards with your axe. This means you get the stripped oak log or whatever type of log and you'll need actually six of these to get your hanging signs or you will need to find some bamboo. And so luckily we're right next to a jungle here, so we can just head over here and grab a piece of bamboo. There we go. You'll need 24 pieces of bamboo to create some hanging signs. So let's grab some more. There we go, that's enough. And then the second item you'll need is some iron. And once you have all of that, you can head into the crafting table right here. So first you'll need to get some iron nuggets and then you can craft chains like this. You'll need two of these every time you want to make hanging signs. So let's grab a couple actually. There we go. And so then with your bamboo, you should be able to make some bamboo planks if you're playing in 1.20. There we go. And so now these are the two different ways to create your hanging signs. So first of all, there's using the stripped wood blocks like this and two chains on top. This will give you six hanging signs of the correct wood type. So you can't mix the wood types in this crafting recipe. He will get six oak hanging signs. However, if you craft them using the bamboo planks, currently it only gives you two of these bamboo hanging signs, which sort of does make sense since these are planks and not full logs. However, it will cost you quite a bit more chain if you want to create them using bamboo planks. So these might actually be a little bit more expensive, but that is how you craft the hanging signs. And so the next question is how to use these hanging signs. So there are actually three different ways to place these hanging signs down. First of all, you can't place them on the ground since they are hanging signs. But if we move over to a wall, you can place them on a wall just like this. And it'll get a little bar at the top, as you can see here. And then, of course, you can put in whatever text you want here, like this. And here you'll see the full texture of the hanging sign. Now, the nice thing here is that you can remove the block beside it and we'll keep floating there in midair. So you can place these anywhere you want, but you do need to first place a block down and then place it next to it and then remove the block again. But you can make these floating at least. Then the second way to place them is on the ceiling. So if you just place them regularly like this, you will see that now there's not a bar on top, but there's two chains hanging from the top of the sign. And so you can put in your text right there. And this is the second way to place them. Then the third way is to once again on the ceiling but this time you want to hold shift and if you hold shift and then place it on the ceiling like this it will get a v shape in the chain so this means that the chains are not going straight up but actually going in a v shape to the center of the block and this is also what always happens if you get a narrower block like for example a fence post if you place a hang sign on this block it will always be the one that has the chains to the center of the block above it and never this version over here and so all you need to do to get this second version is to just sneak and then it will always be the one with the V-shaped chains. And so then there are 16 different rotations you can place these hanging signs in, which will then look something like this. Here are all the 16 different rotations for the hanging signs that have the V-shape on the top right there. As you can see, all of the different ones right there. And so then the sad thing about these types of hanging signs is that if you break the block above, it sadly breaks. So the only one you can keep floating is the one that has the bar on top of it. The other ones will always break if you break the block above it. And then of course, to further customize these hanging signs, you can also dye them using the regular dyes in the game, which we have over here. You can just apply the dyes like this by right-clicking on PC and using the appropriate button on console. 
to give them the different colors that you need. And of course, you can also use the glowing sacks to make these hanging signs glow just like this. Really adds a splash of color there. And so there we go, that is how to get and use hanging signs in Minecraft 1.20 for both Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials in the future. I want to thank my tier 3 member, this Mikala, thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. But anyway, there we go, I hope you all enjoyed this video, hope to see you all in the next one, so until then, bye bye!